it did hurt because I'm not up there for myself. I'm up there for my country. Maybe the boos were for me, but me standing on the podium was for the people that have loved me and my country that I love. Is it more important for you to keep winning titles or is it as important to, to be loved by people who come and watch track and field? Um, that's a good question. I mean, for me, it's a little bit of both. You know, um, I'm not a bad guy, but I look at my family and what they had to go through, you know, to be able to sit in that stand and listen to their child being booed, not by people from afar, but people sitting shoulder to shoulder with them, next to them. Um, Does that make you angry? Makes me sad. If you think about it, there were actually people in my race and other races who have been banned from the sport. And funny enough, I didn't hear any other boos. So it leads me to think that the sport's okay with people coming back and running and competing, but is the sport okay with these people who have had bands winning? It's often said animosity follows Gatlin around because he's never shown contrition, especially for his second doping offense. He's always maintained that was a result of sabotage, but remorse for the controversy he's attracted is heartfelt. If they want an official apology, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize for any wrongdoings or any black eyes I've brought onto the sport. I love the sport. And that's why I've come back to run and try to run to the best of my abilities. And for that, you know, I, I've worked hard to right my wrongs. Would it be a good feeling for you not to be this, this villain anymore? I hope so, yeah. I, it would be a great feeling to not be be a villain you know i've been called a bad boy you know um but i, I scratch my head at that because i don't do bad boy things and the world's fastest man might just find forgiveness a little easier to come by now everyone's favorite bolt is out of the picture for good steve scott news at 10 zurich